Hello, everyone, and welcome to today's webinar exclusively on Sherwin-William and their color forecast for 2018. My name is Santiago Morales, and I am the product manager for 2020 Design. So I'm very glad you could join us today. I think we have an exciting webinar for you. Our main presenter is Michael Plank, who is the director of color Mar marketing and designs at Sherwin-William. So, Mike, if you will, go ahead and start your presentation. All right, thank you so much, Santiago. And as Santiago said, I'm Michael Plank. I'm Director of Color Marketing Services here at Sherwin-Williams. Um, I'm very happy to, happy to uh, present you with the Color Mix 2018 forecast. So before we start, I would like to, uh, with our themes, I would like to share with you a short video uh, showing a behind-the-scenes look on how the forecast team for Sherwin-Williams puts together this Color Mix forecast. So it's deep winter in Cleveland, right? Kind of a gray day, but we're in this fantastic space and we've got amazing light and it's really an inspired environment for us to do our work. Today is really a fusion, looking at key colors that are out there and trends that we see in fashion and, and combining them in an interesting and relevant way for interiors. We like to reference our team as the special sauce. It's the team that we pulled with an enormous amount of experience. And those influences are coming together with different disciplines to put a really well-rounded color palette together. And a metallic set of that. South America or Latin America. We look at a global influence where we start out, we kind of pie in the sky and really look at what's going on. We talk about everything from, like you said, politics to the runways, and there's so many different things going on. And then having some experts in all these different fields, it's great to hear people chime in and say, you know, I'm seeing this being really important, so that we can envelop that into the palettes as we go along and really make sure that it resonates. We're seeing a lot of warm colors this year. We're seeing a lot of reds, which we always see pretty much in the palette every single year. A lot of green focus, and there are a lot of warm shade greens. We've got different segments now, and the segments are really gonna add something to the overall forecast, I think, when we're finished. There's no written rules to do this, and what's cool is that we're all professionals and we know that we have a job to do, and so we're here to curate color, do it in a great, beautiful way, and hopefully produce something that people love. So now we're going to start, um, get into the actual presentation um, for the 2018 color forecast. And today we're going to focus on three collections, as you can see on this intro slide, which are sincerity, connectivity, and unity. Each are going to have their own unique color palettes that are going to draw on from emerging global trends. And the overall forecast is going to present the colors that will drive the conversations and inspiration for the color for the coming year. Each theme is going to be presented into three parts. So part one is going to be the influencers and drivers behind the themes. Part two will be the surface, textile, and material reports. And finally, we'll end each theme with a gallery of inspiration images. So we're going to start with sincerity. And the, the main, as the slide indicates, the main theme behind this is we're trying to simplify our lives. And more and more of our lives are being stored into the cloud. One of the main drivers uh, influence behind sincerity is silence. Um, it is the foundation of this theme, and it is boundless with possibilities. In sincerity, we're celebrating the unfiltered but we're still captivated by the artfully crafted and curated. Here, blending is new standing out and flaws are treasured. The essence of this palette is in tinted neutrals, sand tones, complex grays, along with washed botanicals. Start with a little inspiration video for sincerity. Now we're going to move into the specific influencers for the Sincerity palette. 
these are the key insights, and they're the guiding uh, force providing insightful exploration of where color is moving. And these can be ideas, they can be art, culture, events, fashion, or behaviors. The results are color palettes that tell a story and can be practically applied to product design, interior design, or architecture. The Sincerity Palette Collection is broken into six main influencers. So Silence is going to be one of the largest influencers for this theme. Leisure, Authenticity, Essentialism, Normalize, and Huga. So influencer number one, Silence. So we're exposed to constant visual and audio, audio stimulation, and our brains must react to pop-ups, notifications, and other noise on a daily basis. This is creating a craving for soothing silence. The design reaction our response to this trend is techless living rooms. This essentially means no more TV, digital media, laptops of any kind. These spaces decrease diversions and promote healthy family time. Along with this concept is workspace design, where muted nooks and felt and other plush fibers absorb sound and create a feeling of privacy in furniture and lighting. Screens and dividers are an important emerging product for this concept. The silence continues into white noise. So without seeking absolute silence, we find ourselves in the future enjoying a form of soothing silence or white noise. The hospitality industry is responding with soundproofing technologies design features that reduce noise pollution, and thus reducing the stress it causes their guests. Some examples of these are headboards that double as Cancun sound buffers in Crown Plaza hotels. In select Hyatt hotels, guests are provided with white noise machines. And the vitality room concept at Swiss Hotel in Zurich, in combination with wallpaper magazine to create a guest room optimized for wellness. This project incorporates a circadian light feature which aids the release of serotonin and is considered an antidote to jet lag. Silence part three, meditation or spirit elevating quiet. Modern wellness experiences are using visual and emotional calm to encourage consumers to find peace by paying attention to senses other than light and sound. Meditation has entered everyday life, like apps like Headspace feature special graphics and guided meditation to help users clear their minds. Apple is soon going to join the mindfulness space with Breathe, which is an app with deep breathing exercises that will be available on the iWatch OS 3. Influencer number two for sincerity is pleasure. And simply, this is blending um, study time with leisure and taking a, new, a whole new value onto this process. Influencer number three is authenticity, or seeking what's real. The media doesn't always reflect reality, and to counterbalance, a quest for authenticity has emerged. In Milan, in Milan designers are shown with both uh, natural blemishes for both female and male models. In tableware designs, slightly asymmetric or purposely unrefined plates and serveware feature uneven rims and glazes that evoke handiwork, even though they are industrial produced. Realer.com reports that a growing number of U.S. listings are advertising ugly homes, along with descriptors such as dirty or worse in the neighborhood. At Ugly Melbourne Houses on Instagram, this is a site that highlights bizarre homes in the Melbourne metro area. And authenticity continued. Uh, hashtag no filter is a site where followers advocate the return to natural, such as making images and communication as natural as possible. No longer are failures or shortcomings being concealed. And before No Filter, there was a Japanese art of wabi-sabi, which is essentially the, a philosophy that centers around the appreciation of the beauty and the beauty of natural imperfections. So influencer number four for sincerity is essentialism. Less is better. Here the guiding principles are to produce, purchase only what you need and to seek quality and dur durability and remove a source of anxiety show that we're more the sum of our possessions and replace things with more fulfilling activities. Workstead is a design studio whose aim is to design responsible and context-driven works. Their products are functional and iconic, balancing a dialogue between the past and present, with a focus on architecture and interior design, lighting, furniture, and exhibitions. Essentialism Part 3, Anti-Everythingism. 
Margaret Everton elaborated on this vision of essentialism, expressing it isn't about how little we can live with, but determining what you simply cannot live without. And influencer number five is normalize, or the era of normal. The desire to normalize appearances has increased. And this is a course correction from the flamboyance and arrogance of, past, of the past decade. The term normcore, which is a combination of normalize and hardcore, was born out of this desire to go against the winds of fashion and mainstream consumption to show what is real. Influencer number six is Huga. If you ever enjoyed reading a in book indoors on a rainy Sunday or a hot cup of cocoa on a snowy day, you've experienced Huga without even knowing it. This is a Danish and Norwegian concept that cannot be translated into a single word, but encompasses a feeling of cozy contentment and well-being through enjoying the simple things in life. So now we're going to move on to the surface and textile material report for sincerity. These are the key finishes that are emerging at the industry shows and in new product design. So first of these is beautiful imperfections. Designs will celebrate flaws of products that are carefully crafted and well-worn. And following the wabi-sabi principle of accepting imperfection, uneven surfaces and patch details highlight a sense of care and craft. Gleaming details. Warm metallics will remain prominent across interiors in 2018 as brass is confirmed as a key material to bring precious shine into the home. Nordic styled wood. Wood will always be an important material for interiors, adding warmth, character, and craftsmanship across products and surface. Smooth surface. Smooth brush surfaces remain important. Metals are mixed and glassed as frosted and milky, adding a delicate effect. Marbled and pigmented materials will remain strong through 2018 and emerge in a variety of surfaces. Floors and walls follow in the steps of smaller items, offering designs that clad the space with swirls. Agate and stone. Agate is used heavily as a design detail in items ranging from lighting to tabletops, with marble and both rough hewn and polished semi-precious stones inset into a metallic surround. Super plush. Extreme comfort and softness is a key design direction focusing on plush tactility, even in unexpected applications like lampshades or even furry curtains. And lastly is soft sections. A growing demand for quiet, intimate spaces for collecting thoughts or reading creates the need for materials with tactility, aesthetics, and sound absorption to ensure privacy. So the following slides are going to be a gallery of images for the Sincerity Collection.
Okay, and here is one last final look at the palette for sincerity. And we're going to move on to the second collection for the color mix forecast, which is connectivity. So in connectivity, this is all about how we're living in the information age and data powers every decision that we make. Connectivity is a new generation waving the flag of color freedom and Instagramming every moment. A high-tech palette is pixelated in orange, violets, digital greens, and high-def yellow. Now we're going to move on to the influencers and drivers for connectivity. The main influencers for this are data, youth culture, disruption, techies, micro-living, and mindfulness. So influencer no number one is geometry plus data. The duo Daniel Rueda and Anna Davis love to travel the world in search of interesting perspectives and geometry related to architecture. They've been crafting photographs that use both each other and architecture as characters, playing with perspective and geometry each photo the pair publish is packed with humor and an accompanying story. Uh, data continued into data-driven. Data is going to revolutionize the existence of design and consumption. The Internet of Things, the interconnected network of physical objects like smart home features in lighting systems and appliances provides information that helps designers optimize the use of space. This continuous feedback loop and constant design improvements has emerged as the, as the future of design. Influencer number two is customization. The evolution of online shopping means that furniture now can be customized by consumers on a digital platform and then manufactured and delivered. TOG, also known as All Creators Together, is a furniture brand introducing personalization into the entire process of furniture design and manufacture. As collaboration between designer and consumer, its website acts as an open source design community, allowing consumers to customize their own furniture and share it with others. Influencer number three is youth culture or California pop culture. A new generation of consumer designers is arriving, marked by their urban and edgy, edgy mindset, along with digital savvy. The mood food trend is booming, especially with fans of detox juicing, beauty food, and performance enhancing edibles that are good for the body, mind, and soul. Influencer number four is disruption. Disruption displaces an existing market, industry, or technology and produces something new and more efficient and worthwhile. Humanoid robots like SoftBank's Pepper could play a crucial role in caring for the elderly and take the pressure off of overloaded healthcare systems. Revolution, not evolution. This is disruption continued. Fashion revolution is a global movement calling for greater transparency, sustainability, and ethics in the fashion industry. The price of clothing has been decreasing for decades, while the human and environmental costs have grown dramatically. Influencer number five, techies, the new hippies. Techies are persuaded that technology will help them change the world. There are apps for everything, and digital connectivity is transforming the traditional nine to five lifestyles. New markets for on-demand services will continue to grow into 2018. In many cities, it's less expensive for people to order an Uber than own their own cars. A growing number of food delivery services, including Postmates, offer flash sales with healthy menu options. And for cities with high parking fees, curbside will deliver nearby products within an hour. Influencer number six is instinct and insight. The need for mood and wellness-based metrics is taking on the form of wearables. The new wristband feel promises it can hack happiness. The band analyzes stress levels and can offer up calming activities. Described as a wellness computer, the Aura Smart Ring tracks sleep quality and levels of activity. L'Oreal's stretchable stick-on UV monitor uses photosensitive dye that changes color as the skin is exposed to sun, providing a simple visual cue to UV exposure. Influencer number seven, digital intellectuals. 
The brain fitness market is the field is burgeoning. The new generation consists of devices that promise to monitor or stimulate your brain to make you calmer, more focused, and perhaps even smarter. These wearable gadgets like Melon or Melon Mind aim to gauge your cerebral activity and redirect your focus. Influencer number eight is micro living. As our global population continues to increase and urbanize, the design world is turning its attention to the challenges of high density living. Ali or all inclusive co living is a basic premise behind Carmel Place, a micro apartment development in NYC. Only 260 to 360 square feet per unit. This project is a housing solution for the city's shortage of one and two person apartments, and it revolutionizes the living experience for urban renters. Influencer number nine is moving into action. Current efforts in sustainability can be divided into two groups. Group number one is trying to add efficiency or decrease the negative impact of the way things are being done now. Or group two is changing the cultural norm in order to operate in a more sustainable way, challenging the baseline to redefine the standard rather than tweaking an existing solution. One example of group two is 300 Lafayette in New York City. The office building will make a statement that merges aesthetics and aesthetics with coherent vision while reconnecting the neighborhood and its residents with ecological systems and a setting a new standard for a sustainable workplace design. Influencer number 10 is mindful eating plus technology. Generation Z, Z is shaping up to be the most open-minded, self-aware, and health-conscious generation yet. They are increasingly conscious of what they eat and how they affect the environment. And the last influencer for connectivity seems mindful eating extended into mindful products or storyteller culture. With little to no end for citrus juice byproducts within the food industry, Orange Fiber's innovations make valuable and sustainable use of this waste. Wine leather or vegetable and eco-sustainable alternatives to normal leather are made by converting byproducts from the wine industry. Now we're going to move into the surface texture and material report for connectivity. So number one is geometric play. Decorative accessories, furniture, and textiles are entirely covered with highly graphic, colorful prints and patterns, combining flat colors, geometric shapes, and contrasting patterns. Mirror metallics. From lighting to decor, silvered, chromed, and reflective surfaces give products a sleek and futuristic look, especially when worked in with soft and organic forms. Colors go vibrant and bold in fresh coordinate sets and compositions across table, table mirrors, wall decor, and tabletop. Lacquer. Colors are intense and elegant, perfect for statement pieces. Retro Memphis. A playful approach to color is a hallmark of today's Memphis and new wave interpretations. Bold and eye-catching palettes create new complementary colors, while ice cream-inspired shades achieve a softer look. Complex geos. Here, colors are intense and elegant, perfect for statement pieces. Rugs, wall, and home linens act as canvases for micro-pattern compositions that are unafraid of asymmetry. Bauhaus style. Rang rectangles, rhomboids, triangles, and circles combine off-kilter composition reminiscent of the Bauhaus era textiles, and they are rendered in combinations of bright and muted shades together with graphic monochrome textures. Fresh triangles. Triangles are adding a playful geometric pattern to home textiles and accessories. Whether scattered or regimented, they create a movement and add a layer of fine detail to home interiors. Ceramic tile. Pigment is mixed or pressed into the cement so it wears well. Use in kitchens, backsplashes, bathrooms, or on the floor of an entryway for a dose of color and personality. Grid lines. Grid line structures remain important across interiors and they are rendered into even more precise lines, not only as graphics, but as tactile elements. Meticulous grids offer calming precision across decor, mirrors, and bath items. We should be seeing the gallery for connectivity.
And now we're going to move on to the last collection for Color Mix, and this is a collection we call Unity. And this is where nationalism and globalism are in flux, challenging our terrestrial boundaries. Here we're remapping our sense of community. But optimism persists in the form of boundary-seeking skyscrapers and commercial space travel. Even landlocked cities are becoming global hubs of high culture. We crave security, adventure, and adventure in equal measure. Airbnb, car sharing, and e-learning have created a culture of everyday nomadism. The bright folklore of the story has told in memorable pops of peacock colors. We'll continue on with the influencers and drivers for this theme. Essentially, our five main influencers for this collection, roaming, which will be in several parts, security, community, artisan crafts, and designing for generations. So influencer number one, roaming, which is the largest influencer for the Unity palette, will be composed of several parts. New cultures have begun to influence daily life. The mix of trends and styles are increasingly present in persona that has a worldly flavor. There are countless organizations doing amazing work with refugees around the world. In Dallas, Paula Menace has been quietly building a stylish brand with a global appeal. Since 2009, Gaia has been mentoring and training refugees from the Middle East and Africa. Each artisan contributes her own style and skill set to the colorful and global product line. Roaming continued, everyday nomadicism. Technology, onboard electronics, and improved transportation are cha changing how people relate to the wor work, travel, and being uprooted. Anyone can adopt this multicultural approach to live several lives, search, experiment, and find out who they are. In Sweden, citizens aren't only encouraged to explore the outdoors, they are guaranteed the right to do so because the government wants people to feel at home wherever they are the entire country was listed on Airbnb. So continuous roaming, mobility, or I like to move it. A growing number of apps and services are increasing urban mobility. Waze and Zascar will be the first self-driven cars on the market. New York has been approved for the first autonomous vehicle demonstration pairing with Audi of America. Driverless vehicles are anticipated to account for a quarter of all miles driven by the year 2030. 
the roaming again continues into boundary lists. A new generation of creatives are designing and styling world-class interiors and lifestyle products. This is paving the way for the future made in Africa aesthetic. With a background in architecture, Studio Badge draws on the simplicity and elegance of sculpture. The studio works with local craftsmen to re-envision commonly used materials such as wood and concrete and make them into furniture and lifestyle products. Interior styling studio and concept store Dar Living reflects multifaceted cultural layers of the African continent, bringing alive its colors, character, and originality in well-designed spaces. Now we're going to move into the second influencer, and this is security. So the connection between what's happening around the world and what we do in our daily work may feel tenuous, but global issues will affect us all. Typically, optimism is the designer's response. The designer sees a problem and then will seek to solve it. And this slide shows Christine Mintz-Derma's installation for Fear and Love, Reactions to a Complex World, which focused on textile recycling and the inaccurate and misleading fabric content labeling, which prevents recycling of fibers. Influencer number three is community. Gensler created Etsy's global headquarters, which is located in Brooklyn, by echoing their philosophy or Etsy's philosophy of sustainable craft and displaying interior designs with an importance on creating a sense of community. Each level has been imagined as a balanced ecosystem, and almost all levels feature a kitchen where workers are encouraged to recycle. And influencer number four is artists and craft. Historically, interior designers were important brokers between local artisans, crafts, and potential buyers. Lula Mena has developed an entire project for one of the largest energy companies of El Salvador. They uninstalled more than 60,000 energy meters to replace them with digital ones. The copper collection uses copper thread that came from inside the energy meters and now are woven on a traditional loom. This collection in, helps empower women and at the same time solve the problem of an energy byproduct. Influencer number five is designing for generations. The Scooter for Life was commissioned by the New Old Exhibition at London's Design Museum. This is explores how designers can enhance people's day-to-day -day experiences later in life. Priestman Good saw the project as an opportunity to develop a product that not only supports older people as their mobility decreases, but also encourages them to stay physically active for longer. And so, now, so now we'll move into the surface and textile and material report for Unity, and first of which is tassels and knots. Hypertextual designs and transcultural references drive an extreme take on the textile's direction. Colors remain muted, toning down the effect. Macrame and knotted or woven designs will also apply to furniture with the edges left untrimmed. Fringing, tufting, and fraying in hypertactile surface in interventions bring these textiles to life. Chunky weaves and knits. In line with the move towards more artisanal designs, yarns are rustic and unevenly dyed and worked on loose, thick weaves that celebrate the making process. Sustainability is important, using recycled yarns and textiles as well as a focus on ethical production. Wood grain and serucine. Black woods are finished with serucing for a more organic take on the trend. Tables, bar cabinets, lighting, and lighting explore the natural beauty and imperfection of wood, putting the grain on display. Rustic wood finishes are key. Natural craft. Techniques from faraway places celebrate craftsmanship. Slow living and global travel. Basketry adds pattern and tactile surfaces, while wicker frames and macrame knots hint at a retro 70s look. Raw forms of wicker, thread, bamboo, and mirror now add a new rich sense of meaning to interiors. Patina. Oxidized, burnished, and weathered effects are going even more extreme, driving designs into the upcoming seasons. Metal and glass took age, looked aged, burnt, rusted, and clad in moss as textiles recreate the same textures with intricate weaves bulk patterns. From decorative cushions to wall tapestries, indoor textiles feature bold and colorful folk designs. Brands employ block printing or recreate hand-embroidered and quilted motifs reminiscent of crafts around the globe. Okay, so now we're going to move into the gallery for Unity.
And here we're going to look at the palette for Unity. And wow, we made it through to the final slide. Um, that was a lot of information to get through, but we hope you found it useful as you move into a very colorful 2018. Um, I, I do want to thank you for your attention and thank you for attending the Sherwin-Williams Color Mix Forecast for 2018. Again, I would like to thank 2020 for allowing us to share this present presentation with you. And a special thanks to Amy and all of her technical supports. And at this point, I am going to hand it back over to Santiago. All right. Thanks a lot, Michael. Very much appreciated. What I'll do is I'll do maybe a small demo of how I can find those colors of Sherwin-Williams that we've just talked about. So here I have a design that was submitted to us through an inspirational award contest that we did last year. So this is a kitchen from Anthony Johnson. And what I'll do here is I'll have a little perspective. And this is his kitchen. I'll keep it slow for, uh, for the network performance that we have right now, so I'll just keep it slower or smaller. And I'll go ahead and change the back wall color. How I'll do that, I'll go get the, the, um, the material of that wall, and I'll select here the color. And as you noticed, on your common uh, database, so this is accessible through your basic installation of design, you have access to all these textures. Under paint, you have generic, Bethanel and Sherwin William that we just talked about. So if I go ahead and spread this up and I select my finish to be satin, I have now access to all these beautiful colors from Sherwin Williams. So I'll just pick one randomly. As I said, this comes already installed in your version of design, so you don't you don't have to install any additional catalogs for you to have access to these colors. So if I go back to my rendering now you'll see that my back wall has been applied with that Sherwin-William exact color matchup. Of course, uh, 2020 technologies provide continual uh, training. So we have a couple of training classes already lined up this year and upcoming. So follow this link for additional details. And we'll be glad to see you and I hope to see you in one of our classes. We have a broad community available. So this is where all the 2020 design users can uh, provide feedback, communicate with other uh, design users on in the community, and so they, they can get information or the tricks on how to apply certain uh, textures and whatnot. So this is a good, a good place to to look out. 2020spaces.com/community. Thank you very much for attending, everybody.